Oh, you found it? Yeah. <laughs> it's so like, hard to find the name. I was like, where the hell is the name? This is definitely one that tries to sell based on the logo, which is kind of cool. They're getting a lot of like art in a lot of these bottles now, which is, must be nice for the kind of people that used to like, just do like deadhead type art. And they got a lot of like kind of psychedelic type shit on these bottles these days. Yeah. One after the other. Yeah, we just had, which I'm going to drink after the filming of this one. Kat didn't care much for our last review. Uh, we're doing two in one night. This is the Imperial Nut Case with coffee. And Kat doesn't like coffee. But she does like peanut butter. And she does like natural flavors. Um, again, it's Imperial. I don't know what Imperial... It's Imperial. It means all these Stop beers... shaking it. Frig! It shows a peanut. It's a collaboration with Penuma Coffee Roasters. I think it's just Numa. Numa? Penuma. It's from Listerman Brewing Company out of Ohio. Okay. Oh, hi, Ohio. Oh, on the end. High in the middle. Yeah. It's the triple digit series. I don't know what that means. It might be because it says it's 11.2% alcohol. Yeah, again, this one unfortunately doesn't have some like fun story for Kat to narrate and do dumb. Someone Very. In a, in a straight jacket because yeah. probably you're gonna be crazy to drink this because it'll be so bad or perhaps it will be so good they'll have to contain you in a white room oh this is a Ooh, porter no. i always forget the difference in porters and stouts hopefully i know she doesn't like i said she doesn't like coffee but she does like porters and she likes those kind of darker beers wow okay so it smells super like like coffee super nutty like a very nutty coffee as you see cat is your butt you have the entire other can to drink. This one's probably better. <laughs> Why we will never never film two in one night again? Because I'll get ripped off. That's what I bought favorite. this. Boom! All the other ones. Boom! It smells, smells fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it smells like a it's very nutty. nutty, like a roasted nutty. Good on you, kind Ohio. Of Let's see how it tastes. Yeah. It is a little bit sweet too. It almost smells like a nutter butter. Yeah. Like a. It doesn't smell like peanut butter. It smells like a treat made with peanut butter. Like a refined nutter butter. A nutter butter, perhaps? Nutter butter. Nutter butter. Nutter butter. Ooh. I like that a lot. Aftertaste a little weird. I don't taste coffee. It is very peanutty, which is nice. I've given out a lot of three and a half lately. I mean, that's kind of my. I think it's solid. But it's not blowing me out of the water. I would get this again. I, I like the flavor of it. It's like a malty. I don't know. Solid two for me. Look at Fred. Two out of five maple leaves. The whole taste is weird. Yeah, you know, I'm actually on the second sip. I'm kicking it down to a three. It is a weird aftertaste. It's like I'm drinking a permanent marker. And we should let the viewers know we we been part of this program. Was it Tabber? Tavern, yeah. Where they just send beer, craft beers from all around the country. So I would have to, if, if I'm ever in Ohio, go pick up a pint at the local brewery or something. Because there's always the chance of it getting skunked. There's always the chance of it sitting out too much or getting, you know what I mean? But yeah, the more, I, like a, the more I sip it, it's like... Mm. It's like a burnt nut now. Yeah. It's like if you just really burned a peanut and then served that to me in liquid form. Like it's just in a cup, in a cup yeah, of stale like coffee. Yeah, it's just ashes, yeah. And like you mix some coffee and maybe some cigarette butts in there. And like that's what it tastes like. But yeah, sorry, Ohio. The more I sip it, the more I'm kind of like... It smells really good though. Yeah. Got a good fragrance. Maybe going to the fragrance industry? Yeah, I, I would wear this as like a cologne. <laughs> it's a musk. It's a musk. Ladies, <laughs> certain types of ladies would be all into this. Mmm, burnt roasted Peanut, peanut coffee. Again, I don't drink a lot of porters, so I don't know if it's like, this isn't for me. Sometimes I could tell, like, when they, like, it's, it looks like he's trying to be too edgy with the whole <laughs> guy with, in a straight jacket. Some, sometimes, they'll, like, I, I drink a lot of, like, uh, I'm a little old school. I just drink a lot of, like, you know, this brewery in Germany for 500 years type shit. So, like, a lot of, like, cool new ones that are trying to be all hip and have these, like, edgy... They're usually kind of disappointing. It's like when I drank that Chimay for the first time, I was like, oh, this is what a good beer is. This one, unfortunately, not a good beer. I know it sounds weird, but I can almost tell if a beer is going to be good based on, like, the, the art on the bottle or, like, the names. Excuse like, the really good ones will usually will be, like, a emblem of like a coat of arms with a lion and it would be like shmi, 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 beer but like then the ones in the, a lot of the newer ones will just be like 
dick razor and it'll just be like a freaking you know if someone took an acid trip and painted something and it's just like come on man you brewed this in your basement dick razor is definitely the name of an ipa it probably is yeah and it probably has just like a this like ridiculous like guy ultimate who, hops yeah guy who's so still bitter still spends a lot of time on new grounds designing the art for the label and stuff and it's like i don't know it's just not it's not my cup of beer it's chop your dick off good tune in next time